Hey guys, it is 8.53 a.m. November 10th, it's Tuesday. I'm all done trading for today, and I thought I would make a video, one I haven't made yet with Weeble, and that's how to get indicators on your chart, and, and a little bit about how to use them. But uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that, but I do wanna say this, that indicators should always be secondary to price action and volume, right? Price action is the candlesticks, the way the candlesticks are moving on the chart. And um, in the future, I'll do a video about how to read candlesticks. But today is about indicators, but I strongly suggest you spending a lot of time studying candlestick patterns. There's a lot of information out there. You don't need to know every single name uh, of every single pattern, but you need to get like a rough idea of what each candle is telling you. And you know, if a certain candle follows another one, um, what is likely to happen after that, that kind of a thing. So, uh, but the indicators there uh, to get set up, it's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to set up the ones that I use. And like I said, they're secondary to price action, but I use them to get a sense for the overall trend. So I use two EMA lines, and that stands for Exponential Moving Average, um, which is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's a moving average, but uh, you know, with some exponent, I'm not sure what they use, if it's like squared or cubed or what, but um, some exponent applied, which makes it a little bit more reactive to immediate movements in the price uh, versus like a simple moving average or which is the same thing as this MA. So that's why I like the EMA. It's a little bit more up to date and, and these indicators are always lagging. So that's always a good thing if you can get them to react faster. So that's why I use those over the MA or SMA. And I use two. I use the uh, nine and the 20 moving average. So I think I, I played with this a second ago. I think it was set to five and maybe 20. So you go over to inputs, change that to nine, and this will, should be on 20. If not, change it to 20. And then if you just hit done, you're gonna see that you still only have one indicator up there. So you have to go to style and select that EMA 20. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I don't like these colors. You can pick whatever colors you want, but um, I like to use the red. You can just go over there and then you can move this little circle to wherever you want. And if they're like a little too intense for you, you can play with this, which is like the opacity of the, um, the line. You can see how it's getting more faded, right? So I'll leave it right there for now. And then the EMA 20, Oh, that one actually I have set blue on my chart. You can do whatever you want. But we'll, we'll just kind of something like that. And then this one I have set to red, the EMA 20. And the colors, you know, just help you differentiate them. So something like that. And now we have our moving averages. And uh, again, they give you like a good idea of the trend. If you see the candles above the moving averages, generally you're in an uptrend. If you see the candlesticks below the moving averages, generally you're in a downtrend. You know, but reversals happen and, the, and it takes a while for the averages to catch up. So that's why you need to know about price action and not just trade based on what the indicators are telling you. All right. Now, uh, the other indicator that I like to use is the VWAP, and, and they all have pros and cons. The VWAP is pretty cool. It's, it stands for volu Volume Weighted Moving Average, and um, or Volume Weighted Average Price, I'm sorry, Volume Weighted Average Price. And this one, I don't mess with at all. I just leave it set to 14, and, um, and 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 the same color and whatever and just go and this this is another indicator that that uh, if the candlesticks are above it kind of tells you that um, buyers are in control and if the candlesticks are below the sellers are in control uh, but of course everything is a little more complicated than that but it just gives you a good idea I mean if you saw like all the candlesticks below all of these lines and you're looking to go long you probably shouldn't and uh, same is true, you know, if you're shorting and, and stuff like that. But if you want to go long, generally you want to see some candlesticks above at least your moving averages, if not above all three. I'm just trying to look for some good examples. This is all pre-market stuff, so it doesn't really... And now the charts are kind of acting weird. So anyway, that is, uh, will show you... 
I'll just do this and they'll come back. How to get the indicators on your chart. And then if you want to save them, you can go uh, save indicator set and name it whatever you want to. Click save. And then let's see if this works because sometimes it doesn't work that well. We should be able to load it onto other charts. All right. So yeah, for whatever reason, this doesn't work that well in Weeble. Um, I saved them and I went, I bet you if I load them on this chart, let's say I change stuff just to get and take some stuff away. And now I load these indicators. They came back, right? So I didn't even get to check that. for Load indicator set. Yeah. So they came back on this chart for whatever reason. You're going to have to do everything over again on, on this one. But once you save your setup, you can name it whatever you want. Um, then it's always going to come back no matter what you do if you reload that setup. So let's say I screw this up and I get rid of all these things. As long as I don't resave it, um, I can open up this board again. And there they are exactly how they were before. The only other indicator I use is on the daily chart. I use the 200 MA line, the moving average. And this is a tip that I stole from uh, Jared Wesley at uh, Live Traders. We can just change this one here to 200. You can make it whatever color you want. I have mine red. But uh, basically, if uh, the daily chart, if the price is trading above the 200 MA, then the, then the stock is in an overall uptrend and it's a candidate for going long on. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so, because this is more about getting the indicators on your chart. Anyway, I hope this helped. Now you know how to get indicators on your Weeble chart. Don't forget every time you make a change to resave your chart. That way, if you screw things up, you can open it back up and, and all the indicators will be just as you left them. And just a quick look at my trade screen, you can see how I have my indicators set up again. I have them set up the same on both charts. But uh, they're going to do different things depending on your time frame that you have selected, right? So a 9 EMA on a 5-minute chart is going to be 9 5-minute candles, the average of the, that price, where on the 1-minute chart, it's the average of 9 1-minute candles. So in the daily chart, 200 average is going to be an average of the past 200 days. So that's it for indicators. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos about how to use Weeble to day trade. All right, good luck out there.